So you want to be a better guitarist? Then you need to know how you're spending your time on the instrument. About eight or nine years ago, I was um, getting some mentoring from a management consultant and we talked about time management. And he suggested that I open up and look at my mail, look at the, my to-do list, and to try to put it into four categories. Important, unimportant, urgent and important, urgent and unimportant. And going through those four things, it really helped me decide how I needed to spend my day. And I got a lot more done. But it also made me think about how I spend my time on the guitar. And I realized it, it, this is a different paradigm, but ideas come from cool places. And I got the idea from, from time management. To me, there's four ways that we come to the guitar. Practice, rehearse, performance, and play. Now, you might also think that there is a fifth way that we come to the guitar, and it's also very important, and that is the loosening up and stretching. Okay, that is really an important part of the process. Playing the guitar is an athletic event. And just like every athlete, you know, we don't come with our A game every day. The loosening up and stretching that we do, getting to know the instrument, whether it takes five or 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes, you need to spend that time, I think, to find out what you have that day. It's gonna help you decide then what you're going to do in those four other areas of work. It'll allow, allow you to establish some reasonable goals. So let's discuss about those four other areas. So I just said that there's four. There's practice, rehearsal, performance, and playing. Let's define those. Practice, to me, is when you are learning a new technique, when you're learning a new passage from a piece of music, you might be learning how to do slurs, hammer-ons, or pull-offs. You might be learning how to play slide. You might be working in a new tuning and trying to figure out new chords. You bring a critical mind to practice. You bring a mind where you can take a look at something and, and know whether you've done it correct or not. You're doing a lot of self-teaching. Rehearsal, to me, is performance without audience. It means you're going to play the song one time through. Ideally, if you're going to plug in and play for a performance, then you would plug in and play for the rehearsal. If you're going to stand up, you would stand up. You basically, again, it is performing without audience. Performance, to me, is anything for public consumption. It could be the video that I'm recording right now. It could be um, Aunt Mary's birthday party. It doesn't have to be a paid ticket at an event to be called a performance. If it's intended for others to hear it, that is performance. And lastly, there is playing. And playing is really, there's, when I'm in playing mode, it is, there's, there's absolutely no editor there. There's nobody telling me that what I just did is wrong. I'm investigating, I'm discovering. Nothing bad can happen when I'm playing. There is no critic, that person goes away. So, and to me, this really builds from practice, which gives us the chops and the techniques, the rehearsal, which is more practice, the performance, which is sharing music with other people, sharing the emotions, that's an important part of it. But then there's that transcendence where we get to actual playing, where we're not thinking. And I will say the best performers get to that place in each night that they perform. They don't live there. You have to have a critical mind for part of when you're performing but they do spend a considerable time there. Um, playing is one of the things that I don't think we do enough on the guitar. Practice is something, or rehearsal, I think we spend maybe too much in. So if you want to get better as a guitarist, take a look at how you're spending your time. That's going to help you get better. All right, cheers. Check out my website. I give lessons. I've got tablature. I've got lots of cool stuff for you if you're a guitarist. Enjoy.